On the EMBN show tonight, we have progress and we have apologies. And it's been showtime at Sea Otter in California, apparently packed with e-bikes. And this from a country which is apparently e-bike shy. Let's get rolling. Do it. Now, what about this news, Steve, about you needing to apologize? Oh dear. What's this all about? Uh, made a terrible error on the show a few weeks ago. I actually put the wrong photograph of Sylvain Gintoli on the show, and uh, I basically had to meet him uh, yeah. face to face, face to face, say and, and, and say sorry. And uh, luckily, we got the chance to do this amazing fo uh, shoot. Uh, Thousand Foot Dead, which is coming up on the channel very soon, so you need to tune into that. But this is uh, when I met up with Sylvain in the hills of Wales. So it's feedback time now. I had some amazing comments from you guys, especially on the uplift versus e-bike feature on the channel a few weeks ago. It really stirred a few emotions there. <laughs> uh, I got a few comments here. This one's from a free rider. There simply is nothing else to say about e-bikes other than it should never have been invented and brought into the market. <laughs> but he didn't leave it there. He went on to at length, uh, discuss uplift versus e-bikes and land finish, finishing off with, well, living a lie is nothing to smile about because it's only a waste of life altogether. That's amazing, isn't it? Freerider is not into e-bikes. Absolutely he is not. not. You know what? There's a bit of a problem though because some people are like that. I mean, e-bikes have got a bit of a brick wall to break down because mm -hmm. some people have got this barrier, they're just not interested, they think it's a problem when it's not. And uh, oh, it's frustrating, yeah. but it is something that's there. But Martin, it seems that Freerider was an exception to that actual video. Thank and goodness. there was a load of positive comments. I mean, this one here from Ruben Gao, actually, who says, what we did wasn't actually representative of Uplift because no. if in a normal situation there'd be people queuing at the bottom, people fanning around, yeah. getting the bikes on the truck and then yeah. waiting for people to come down the hill. So yeah, it'd stop if, halfway up because one of the bikes falling off. Yeah, and if we did it that way, maybe Neil wouldn't have got one run at all. So no, yeah, it's, it's one angle on it, Ruben. So um, lots to think about. And we'll actually follow this subject up in a couple of weeks' time when the Don comes back, and he's quite fired up about it. Is he? Mm. Oh, he'll be even God. more fired up once he sees Freerider's comment. <laughs> right, let's talk some progression about the sport of e-bike riding, because that's quite interesting. Yeah. Now, mountain biking itself has splintered out into all its disciplines, downhill, enduro, cross-country, marathon riding, all those things, and they're developing. But the question we're asking is, Where's e-bikes going to fit in? Is it going to become a version of one of these things? Or is it going to create something new all of its own? Um, we've seen Blake and Pilgrim doing all yeah. these stunts. What, what's your thoughts, Steve? Yeah, I think, I think it's important. It does become a sport of its own. I mean, Blake and Pilgrim, they did some incredible yeah. things on their e-bikes last week. And I think, you know what? An e-bike could enable that side, free ride on e-bikes, it could enable it to develop simply because mm. they can get more laps done. Yeah, but they don't get so tired. But is backflips on e-bikes what really what it's about? Is that what is that where it's going? I mean, what's the most impressive thing you've seen on e-bike? Is it is it Blake doing backflips? Uh, I, I I was impressed with yeah. with, with yeah. Uh, Blake and Pilgrim doing backflips. But for me, I was really fortunate enough to ride behind uh, double world down champion Fabian Burrell in the mm. Alps climbing these insanely technical rock yeah, slabs. Yeah. And I was like, wow, I think there is opportunity here for, for e-bikes. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, yeah you know, we have seen trials. I think maybe uh, maybe a mix of trials and enduro yes. is where it's at. Yeah, you, you, yeah. You, you kind of were quite impressed with Paul Bolton's Yeah, I, was, skills, I right? was watching the Paul Bolton video and, and that little clip of him just going up over those rocks, for me was a moment where I was like, oh, that's something e-bikes can really do well, you know, because think so. we've both done trials all our lives. And yeah. I, I think there's a valid argument for e-bike trials. Now, I mean, yeah. I, I think if I saw a, a e-bike trial event, no stop rules where you've got to use the motor to keep yourself going. None of this hopping, you know, and see some really cool stuff. I mean, we've seen world champions like Tony Bowe, yeah. uh, Jamie Busto, motorcycle trials riders. 
using these bikes yeah. in a really cool way. It can be done. I mean, where do you, how how advanced do you think Tony Bow and those guys are when it comes to riding their e-bikes? I mean, you're uh, on the trials. Well, I think they can do champion. some that, like uh, we've seen uh, Pat Smage doing like uh, reverse stoppies on one. Mm. I mean, they're tricks that are going to convert yeah. onto any bike. Yeah. Um, but, I, you, but are you talking about so with an e-bike you can actually accelerate really quickly? Yeah. So you could. Yeah. What you could have is you could have a cross-country loop, 45 minutes, like World Cup cross-country yeah, racing. Yeah. With a technical element, which yeah, means yeah. you've got a fast acceleration up a really uh, te technical climb, which mm -hmm. means this potential effort overtaken, and yeah, there's yeah. Uh, all kinds of elements involved in that. But what about simply a trial where you're marked for how many times your feet go down? You know, just, just doing trials. I mean, I want to see something that's really making the bikes shine, like that great video that we saw recently. Um, the two guys just hammering down the hill, so flowing, really inspiring so, the video. So maybe it's about adventure, it's not yeah, about the competition. Coastal crew, wasn't coastal it? Coastal crew, great skeptical, video. Incredible. Yeah, seeing those bikes look inspiring, but I want to see them doing something that other so, bikes don't do. So you want flow, you want kind of Chris yeah. Ackrig flow oh, on an e-bike, right? Yeah, now, now <laughs> Chris Ackrig on yeah. an e-bike. Now that would get people excited. Do Mongoose make an e-bike and we'll get it done? De um, they don't make an e-bike. Okay, it's hard to keep up with all the tech in the world of e-bikes, but we've been keeping our eye on it, and I really like the look of this bike from Nikolai, mm. the G16 e-box. Uh, it's a beautiful looking thing, isn't it, Steve? You like that? Or is that a G-box E14? Yeah, there's a load of really cool features on this bike. I mean, first of all, if you notice, it's a belt drive mark. Yeah. Uh, and that's powering a roll-off hub, 14-speed roll-off hub. Mm. And by way of an electronic shifter, so you can click oh, through cool. three gears at once. Mm. Uh, if you look at the geometry, it's pretty out there. Uh, four, five sizes from small to extra, extra large, meaning there's a size out there for everybody up to six foot seven. It's a giant wow. of a bike. Wow. Uh, 63 head angle, and uh, I think it just looks yeah. It looks, looks great, doesn't it's it? Sick. And it's really original looking, um, yeah, very innovative bike. I think there's more to come from Germany and Nikolai over the year ahead. Now, we also saw this week that Commensal launched their Meta Power in 29-inch wheel version. Uh, this is a great brand from Andorra, direct sales brand. So, uh, yeah, if, there's a great range of options there if you want a 29-inch wheel e-bike. Yes, now Hope Technology do this really cool scheme for kids' bikes where you can basically uh, subscribe. Mm -hmm. You pay a monthly fee and then you get the bike and as your child grows, the bike grows with them. Brilliant idea. Great idea. Well, Van Moof, a little brand with some kooky bikes, they're doing the same thing in some of big cities in Europe mm -hmm. uh, where you can subscribe to have an e-bike right. because, you know, trying to bring down the, the barrier of people getting on an e-bike because it's high purchase price at the beginning. So you pay a subscription every month and you get your e-bike, any problems, it's serviced. If it's stolen, they'll replace it. Great idea, isn't it? Perfect. Get people out on e-bikes. Do you know what? Actually, I did hear that actually in Italy there is mm. a similar scheme underfoot mm -hmm. uh, to where you can you can rent your e-bike for a few months to see if you like it. Right. And yeah, just to get people on the e-bikes. Yeah, no, subscription-based, really good idea. I think this is something we're also going to see in electric cars in the future, things like that. But hey, e-mountain e biking, doing it first. Electric car or diesel car? Oh, electric. <laughs> Okay, it's time for Climb of the Week, and I want to give you a sneaky preview of when I met up with world superbike champion Sylvain Gintoli last week. And we've got a new feature coming on the show, which is 1,000 foot dead. We climbed and descended 1,000 feet. Yeah. And you wouldn't believe the times that were posted on this hill. So this is coming soon, but yeah, sneak preview for you guys. Where in the world, Martin? Where, where in the world are we? Where in the world speaking? indeed, Let's Steve. Get the globe out. Where have we ended up this week? Right, we've got this one from Dan Collins. And his mate, and a brace of beautiful Vitus bikes. Nice, same colour. Yeah. Got the same colour. I wonder if they ordered at the same time. Yeah, this is from Ballyhoora in Ireland. Oh, I like it. Ever, it's quite ever, a spot, isn't it? Ever ridden there? I haven't. I've drunk Guinness there, but I've not uh, ridden there. Yeah, well, you wouldn't remember anyway. If you but were. we want to, we want to see more, right? We want to see more videos, photographs. Yeah. We take any currency on the EMBN show. Absolutely, send it in. There's the email address. We'd love to see uh, where you've been riding your bike and fill the world with dots of e-bike riders. Send it. Let's dive into the bike vault now. It's not in. vault as in box, it's actually vault. 
as in electric. Volt. Yes, yeah. yeah, we've changed the title. So wow. let's, so where in the longitude and latitude are we this week? Mm -hmm. First up, Alabama Hills, Lone Pine, California, March 2018. Dan Copeland's balls. L look at that background. It's nice. It's amazing. It? It's epic. Epic. Bulls e bike. You're a lucky lad, you know, Dan Copeland. Well, I, I mean, it's a super nice to start, isn't it? There's not much wrong with it. Can't really. It's just all good. That that meets all the regulations yeah. that you bring to ha the vault. Happy with that? Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah, well, nice one, Dan. Well done, Dan. Good nice start. Nice one, Dan. Great start. Right, next up. Ooh, Ooh. Fantic. Gitano oh. Tosadori from Verona. Yeah, I look like at that. that. I like that. A Fantic in Italy, I like, like it. You know. I, I like, I'm going to go super nice. Sorry, it's a, it's a Fantic. I love a Fantic. Super nice. Super nice. Yeah. A lot of trials history with the word Fantic. So absolutely. You know. Okay, next up. Ooh, look at that one. Gemma Johnson Brown. Now I know you've been trying for a long time, Gemma. So there you go. Vetus. Vitus? Vetus Vetus. in the hills. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Only two days on from sending it. How about that? Yeah, two, two. I don't know if I'd go more than that, would you? More than what? Nice. Gemma's so, not going to be happy. Oh, really? No. Oh, really? Could we have caused an issue? Here? Maybe. I don't know. Mm. Let's go to the now next I'm bike. I'm nervous. Let's go to the next bike. Oh, God, Gemma. It, it was his idea. Uh, next Ooh. up. This is from Grisa Skerlik in Slovenia. Yeah. Uh, the high bike, nice. high bike seven. Nice. Oh, come on, that's no, fantastic. Nice. We on about look at it's them. A bit muddy. It's the same. It's, it's, a bit it's the muddy. same as Dan Copeland's opener. You got the mountains in the background, high altitude. Sorry, Steve. God, what is wrong with Composition you? has got to come into it. Oh, that's not God. quite there. It's just not quite. It's a nice bike. I'm not saying anything bad. It's all nice. Right, all right. It's nice. Next. Sorry. Next. 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 Uh, button. Okay. Next up is from Marak Sedoma in the Czech, Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Look at that fairy castle. Two bikes. Mm, I'm a bit annoyed, but anyway, it upsets you, doesn't I'm a bit it? Annoyed, Two bikes upset you. A couple of high bikes. Yeah. Mud guards are disturbing. Thin back tire. Yeah. It was. It was always going to be nice or downwards for me. All right. Okay. Happy with that? Well, not really, but carry on going. Yeah, next Ooh. up. Ooh, giant. Mark nice. Smith. That's a nice giant. Yeah. I'm sure I've seen that bike before. I like the colour. The big tyres, I, yeah. like, I like the mix I matching think this green. Has been in before. It's plugged itself in again. Somehow. It has plugged itself in again, hasn't it? Do you know what? I'm pretty sure it was a super nice first time. I think it still is. <laughs> still is. You're not going to unplug is. it? No. Super, super nice. nice. Go with it. Go on, Mark. Doubled what up. we got next? We got next. Doubled Martin. up. We have got a Merida. Sandro Colonna in Switzerland. Yeah. Again, it's that. It's back to that lean in the bike on a on a on a fence. Business. Not happy with that. Well, you weren't happy with the with the it's guy. It's a bit lazy, in Slovenia. isn't it? It's a bit lazy. A bit lazy. How, what would you What would you recommend people to how, how prop their bikes up? Well, I think having the bike with a, a clear space behind it's really useful because okay. you really get to see the silhouette of the bike. It's not confusing to the eye. But this has got good composition. Here we uh, go. What are you giving it? It's got to be nice, sorry, because because like you said, the background's not hundred percent. It's nice. Moving on. Ooh, Ooh look at that. Steve Parker, Shell Cove, New South Wales, Australia. Like that. That's a nice colour. Like you've got, that. I mean, you've got. I mean, that's super nice. Oh, hold on a minute. It's a giraffe in the background. Wow, it's two giraffes. Two giraffes. Look at that. Giraffes. Giraffe. Giraffes. Giraffes. Two giraffes. Two giraffes in the background. I think he's taking his bike down the zoo. And he's got himself a super nice. <laughs> <laughs> Can't beat that, can you, really? Fair play. Oh, nice my tops, God. Nice tops, dude. Nice top. Now, I wouldn't normally allow someone in the bike vault with the bike, but he's got an EMBN top on. Right, so we okay. have massive love immediately. Yeah. So it's hard to throw him out at this point. Totally. But I think we should stick to the rules and throw the dude out. Because <laughs> it, it's a bike vault, not a bike and person Sorry, vault. Sorry, Stuart. I didn't know what the rules were. Stuart, get out of there. It's for bikes only. You need to bolt it out of the vault. But I tell you what, if you hadn't have been that shot, it was a bang on super nice. Yeah. Unlucky. Come on, then. Next. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's a super nice. Stuart, it's a super nice. I didn't worry, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the same bike. No. Finally, this is Paul Green. Now, Paul <laughs> has been trying for ages to get his bike in the vault, and there you go. There's Paul, you made it. You made and it. you got yourself a, a nice. No, you didn't. You got a super nice. It's lovely. Lovely, lovely shot. I love the bike vault route. 
I love it. I love it too. I love it. If you want to get your bike in the EMBN Bike Vault, V-O-L-T, then send your bike in. There's the email address. We'd love to see it. Might get super nice, might get nice. It's all good. They're all fantastic, really, but we love to see what you're riding. Okay, Steve, what are you looking forward to on the channel this week? Well, this week we've got two key videos. On Friday is that 1,000 foot dead uh, feature, which I did with Sylvain Guintoli, uh, former World Superbike champion. Great stuff. Um, sounds like good videos coming up, of course, but if you want to stick with EMBN now, why don't you click just here, where you can see the Sam Pilgrim versus Blake Sampson Mental. game of e-bike. Mental. Lots of fun in there. Um, yeah, of course, click on the old globe there to subscribe. And Get don't forget, I'm going in on us, as long as you subscribe. Or thumbsies, give us a thumbsies.